A bill that would give child sex abuse survivors more time to hold their predators accountable is ready to be voted on. Thanks for staying with us tonight. I'm Rachel Young Kunis. However, survivors of sexual abuse say lawmakers refuse to do it and they're tired of waiting. They tell Fox 43's Jamie Bittner the people in power on both sides of the aisle have the ability to take action, but they won't. Living with the memories of the sexual abuse they endured as children is what brings them all together, like the survivors who lost trust in places they once found safe. Your home, mm -hmm. your best friend's house, the pediatrician, everywhere is, is the reality. Or this couple who lives with the memories of their son whose sudden death they attribute to the pain. 2013, he's dead. I'm sorry. It's devastating. But these survivors say they're tired of crying when they claim nothing is getting done. Among the things muffling change, they say, is the lack of action on a bill that they believe would expose predators across Pennsylvania. House Bill 951 would extend the statute of limitations by two years. Or in other words, give child sex abuse survivors more time to take their alleged abusers to court. The man who abused me, who lives freely five minutes from where we are sitting right now, two more years would give him exposure and be able to discover the monster he is. Despite countless rallies to get the bill passed and passage in the Senate Judiciary Committee, top Senate leaders haven't brought the bill to the floor for an official vote. I don't know how protecting children from predators in the communities is a partisan issue. Where we're seeing a lot of, of flat out blockage happening from the Republican side, any one of those Democrats can also stand up and demand that this bill be put to the floor. The survivors say they've pleaded their case directly to Republican Senate Majority Leader Kim Ward. Kim Ward told us, you know, we're working on this, but it just doesn't fit our timeline. Is this good enough for a timeline? How many people are going to self-medicate? How many people are going to die? How many people are going to commit suicide? Because this is drug out again and again and again. How many of you went to Kim Ward's office? And what I said was, what we want to know is, are you running HB 951 or not? And it's a yes or no answer. And her response was, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. And as soon as she said that, I said, I'm asking you for a yes or no answer. And she started speaking again, and I looked at everybody and I said, we're okay. done, we have our answer. And we got up and walked out. Fox 43 made multiple attempts to interview Senator Ward about all of the survivors' claims and to answer the main question, why isn't this bill being run in the Senate? But her office refused to provide a comment outside of several email exchanges with her communications director, who wrote in part, Senator Ward will not be sitting down for an interview, nor will we be providing a statement. The office cited concerns that the bill, if passed, could face legal challenges and that lawmakers have a responsibility to ensure they're upholding the Pennsylvania Constitution to give survivors their best path to justice. They spent a lifetime of being let down. The email also claims Ward's office hasn't been provided case law in the bill from the Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro, although Shapiro's office claims they have. It's not their job, that's the Supreme Court's job, to worry about that fight. Their job is to get that bill out and get it voted on. This is a game that they are playing to hold on to their power and their positions. It will pass. Yep. Why That's isn't Kim Ward bringing it up? Yet the survivors don't spare criticism for the Democratic state leaders who could have made the need for House Bill 951 non-existent if they hadn't mishandled a constitutional amendment that would have accomplished the same goal. That amendment was supposed to be decided on by voters, but it never made it on the ballot because it wasn't properly advertised by law, a mistake that means it now can't be voted on until 2023. So that whole team didn't check to make sure that that was on the ballot. Tired of the political blame game, they say it's time for the finger pointing to end. We're all going to fight till it's passed. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to fight. We're not going to in the Some meantime, can't. there'll be more victims, though. Right. So, more people point, will yeah. die. Jamie Bittner, Fox 43 News.